Welcome to Workflow Series Part 1, Session Configuration Objects. My name is Glenn D'Amato. We're going to learn how to create and use session configuration objects. These objects are easy to overlook, even if you've been using Power Center for quite some time. Sessions have a lot of properties. Often, several of those properties need to be changed across a large number of sessions when those sessions are migrated into production. That would take a long time. A session configuration object makes this easier, quicker, and less error prone. Session configuration objects are stored in the repository just like all the other metadata objects. Let me demonstrate. Here's a workflow that has just been migrated into production. There are six properties that we want to set inside of each session in order to change how the sessions manage memory, row errors, and load balancing. Normally, we would just simply edit the sessions directly and come to this tab here and set the properties. To access the session configuration dialog box, we go to the task menu, session configuration, and the easiest way to affect all of the sessions in this production repository is simply to edit the default configuration object. We're going to change the name of it to make it more specific. Data Warehouse Production. Then in the Properties tabs, these properties here are the same as the properties inside the Session Configuration Object tab inside the Session Properties. We're going to change the max memory percentage from 5 to 10 percent. We're going to set the pre-build lookup cache property to always allow. We're going to change the stop on errors to 1. We're going to set the log tracing to terse. And we're going to edit these partitioning and load balancing properties down here. Then we're going to save this configuration object to the repository. Now we can go into any session and we can see the configuration name is Data Warehouse Production. It is the default. And the settings that we changed are set on all these sessions. Here's the maximum percentage of total memory to 10. Pre-build lookup caching always allowed. Stop on errors set to 1. Tracing level to terse. And our partitioning and load balancing properties down here are preset for us. Note that we can still override any of these properties on an individual session level. I can change this max percentage to 15. And I can edit the way the session log is set. If we go inside of any other session, the config object is still data warehouse production and all of our properties are preset for us. This would be the case even if there were thousands of sessions in the repository. We can also create a new session configuration. So let's go back to our dialog box here. New. We're going to name this one data warehouse production high volume for sessions that deal with a large volume of data. And uh, we'll set the max memory property down here to 30%. Save that to the repository. Then we can go inside of any session in the config object tab, use this drop box here to choose our new session configuration object. As soon as we choose it, our memory property here is preset to 30 for us. You might be asking, what if I need to run a mapping that reads from 20 different databases? Do I need to create 20 sessions and set their properties separately? No, you can employ reusable sessions. For a complete demonstration, please see Workflow Series Part 2, Reusable Sessions. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you for watching.